Good morning, you guys. Good morning, good morning. So today we're going to pray against the spirit of a lust once again just like yesterday I was asking the Lord what we should pray about this morning and he said the spirit of lust once again as you guys know we were praying against the spirit of, of lust yesterday and he just wants us to continue this and I truly believe that you know the Lord is transforming our minds and our hearts and really changing things that need to be changed in this time definitely like and share the live because i know this is going to be a blessing to those that are needing it and you know when it comes to the root of lust it could really go deep so i'm just excited to see what the lord does and i know that there will be testimonies out of this as well because i do get so many emails and messages concerning like people struggling with lust and i know that this is a huge issue in the body of christ and you know i know that the lord wants us to be set free from this so father we just thank you this morning we declare that your power is moving in our life we pray for freedom and deliverance father i pray that freedom and deliverance is your people's portion in jesus christ's mighty name amen so as we are praying definitely just pray for yourself as well because you know your situation better than i do and when it comes to the spirit of lust the root there is a root problem to it there is a root cause for that in your life it could be loneliness it could be abuse that you have experienced it could be because of abandonment insecurity you know rejection there there could be many roots to the problem so i just pray that today the lord will reveal the problem and he will completely uproot it heal you deliver you and set you free so that you will no longer struggle with this anymore so father we just declare right now that we also bind every spirit of addiction that causes us to fall into lustful temptations because if you guys don't know the the spirit of addiction is normally connected to you know different lustful temptations that people fall into like watching porn fornicating masturbating and things like that so father we just declare right now that those things are being uprooted out of our life in the mighty name of jesus christ father i declare that your people will not be controlled by these things any longer in jesus name so lord we uproot every spirit of addiction lord we uproot every spirit of addiction to pornography i don't know if tiktok is going to like you know like that i'm using these words but i'm gonna just do it anyways so father we uproot every spirit of addiction to pornography masturbation fornication adultery and even prostitution for fast money like you guys don't even know that prostitution is actually a lot more common than you recognize so father we declare that we just bind it in the mighty name of jesus christ every single thing we bind it out of our life and father i just declare matthew 15 13 over your people as well anything that was not planted in the foundation of our life father let it be uprooted right now in the mighty name of jesus christ and also just repent and renounce you know if you know that any of this is what you are going through repent and renounce and let go of it in your heart even if you do not know how god is going to move how god is going to deliver you completely believe in the lord for deliverance by just fully surrendering to his will and even if you don't see how he's going to do it for you just trust that he will so first corinthians 6 15 through 17 says do you not know that your bodies are members of christ himself shall i then take the members of christ and unite them with a prostitute never do you not know that he who unites himself with a prostitute is one with her in body? For it is said, the two will become one flesh, but whoever is united with the Lord is one with him in spirit. So just declare that, Father, I am one with you in spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
just just pray lord i welcome you into my heart father i welcome you into my mind to renew me and restore me and make me brand new lord give me new desires that will glorify you and your kingdom so father we give thanks to you right now for your transformative power that is moving in the lives of your people lord we thank you so much father for the deliverance that is happening and you know the transformation that is happening in your mind because sometimes all you need is for your mindset to shift in order for you to actually fully receive that breakthrough and that deliverance that you are needing and father we just pray right now that your fire will consume every ancestral spirit of lust that has been chasing us down because the thing is the spirit of lust could also be a generational spirit that's been passed down in your bloodline that also leads to like perversion and things like that even down to incest in your family these things could be like generational issues so father we just reject it and renounce it in the name of jesus we do not come into agreement with it and father we declare that we will not be held back by this spirit we will not move backwards in our life because of this spirit and we will not miss our time of breakthrough because of this spirit in our life we declare that we completely detach ourselves from this spirit we no longer come into agreement with it and also just remember to testify when the lord does set you free and really recognize how powerful it is when you share your testimony on you know how god miraculously delivered you and saved you from situations because when you are when you are willing to share your testimony it's basically like you are sealing it and how god has helped you to overcome it so you basically will not be overtaken by that temptation again and there's even a scripture for that that is in revelations 12 11. so it says and they overcome and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony and they loved not their lives unto death so we just thank you father for giving us life and not death because sin leads to death but jesus gave us life so we just thank you father father we ask that you uproot every issue of lust in our life this morning father you know the issues that are going on in your people's life so i just pray that you set them free and you deliver them and we believe in you father we believe in you today to set your people free to set us free and to deliver us and we will not stay down we will not be you know moved by our flesh but we will move by the spirit and as we move by the spirit we will allow ourselves to change and grow and it is not in our own strength or what we do on our own but it is because we surrender to god and allow god's spirit to move in our life and proverbs 24 16 says for though the righteous fall seven times they rise again but the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. So just remember, even if you find yourself struggling, you do not fail unless you decide to give up. You know, as you're going through this process, do not allow yourself to stay down when you fall. Continue to get up and allow God to continue to transform you. Because that's truly what the enemy wants. The enemy wants you to completely just give up and leave you in a place of hopelessness, make you feel like, you know you're unworthy or that you just cannot do it because you've tried so many times but god hasn't given up on you so don't give up on yourself so father we just thank you so much for the deliverance that is happening even right now that you are setting your people free even right now that you are changing the desires of your people's hearts so that they no longer desire the things that are pulling them away from you and Father, today we declare that we are presenting our bodies to you as living sacrifices. Because when we, when we truly follow God and we worship Him and when we allow Him to be our Lord, we are, you know, laying our own life down and recognizing that we do not live this life for ourselves. So in Romans 12, 1 through 2, it says, I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, 
by the mercies of God to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. So he's basically saying when you are presenting your body as a living sacrifice to God, you are basically worshiping God with your body in that way. And then it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by, by the renewal of your mind, that by the testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. And, you know, this is also really, really important to remember as well. You know, the world will always tell us that certain things are okay. The world will tell us that we can do things that God is saying that we should not do. And we need to remember that if God has created a standard for us to live by, he's not creating a standard for us to live by only for us to fail at it. He's showing us that it is possible for us to actually live by those standards. So, Father, we just thank you right now for helping us to be renewed in our spirit and to move differently. And also, some of you guys may have been struggling with, you know, addiction to watching porn and masturbating. But, you know, there are still toys that you have that you haven't thrown away. So, let today be the day that you throw those things away, those things that you know do not honor God and let this be a way of an act of faith of you showing God like I believe in you I believe that you are helping me to overcome this and this is already done I am not going to continue to defile my body and really just repent and say Lord I, I repent for defiling my body and ask yourself as well like how may I be allowing the spirit of lust to infiltrate our mind? Because like I was mentioning yesterday during our prayer, in moments of our weakness, we need to remember that we still have the ability to analyze our thought patterns. And we still have the ability to see what, what we're allowing in our minds and ask ourselves, does this line up with God? We aren't in a place of like no control. We still have control over our minds and the decisions that we make so cast down every thought and put it to the obedience of Jesus Christ so that you can overcome every battle and allow yourself to take things slow and do not be overcome by your own mind remind yourself that you are leading yourself not your flesh your flesh is not what's leading you in your life and father we just declare that we also bind every spirit of self-sabotage and carelessness we bind every spirit of self-sabotage and carelessness that causes us to do things that we know are not leading us to life but death instead and we just thank you father for your grace that abounds in our life as we are getting ourselves right with you and remember to continuously pray against temptation just like jesus said in Matthew 26 when he was speaking to his disciples he was letting them know like even when there isn't anything specific before you that is tempting you you need to get up and you need to pray you need to make sure that you are always praying against temptation so that when temptation comes knocking at your door you aren't like caught off guard and you're basically ready in your spirit so, Father, we pray right now that you destroy every spirit of lust in our life with your fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for helping us to overcome every trial and every temptation. We declare that we are victorious today. We accept our victory today. Lord, destroy every agent of darkness that is making sure that the spirit of lust remains active in our life. And Father, we declare that we break its influence in our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. We break every influence of the spirit of lust in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And we renounce and reject every demonic impartation that may have occurred in the spiritual realm while we were sleeping. Father, we reject it and we renounce it in the mighty name of Jesus. 
and we no longer come into agreement with it we no longer stand together with it amos 3 3 says can two walk together except they be agreed so father we declare that we do not come into agreement with the spirit of lust so lord wash us clean today wash us clean this morning lord cleanse us and restore us in our minds let our minds be like christ and father we will not allow lust to overtake us we will stay focused on our mission and our purpose here on earth and we will glorify you lord fully with our bodies And Father, we also declare that we will illustrate in our lives what others deem as impossible. And we will set a great example to others to give them hope. Because when it comes to the spirit of lust, a lot of times, because of how deeply rooted this issue can be, a lot of people are in a place of hopelessness where they feel like there is no way out of it. But we just declare that we are out of that. We are out of that problem. And it will not overtake us. And also, Father, we ask that you uproot every altar. Uproot and destroy by your fire every altar of lust in our life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every ancestral altar, let it be destroyed right now, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And also remember, just moving forward to continue to spill, uh, fill your spirit, man, with things of God and really guard your eye gates and your ear gates. Watch, watch out for the things that you are looking at, you know, the things that you are entertaining, the things that you are allowing in your spirit subconsciously, because these things can still affect us. So, Father, we thank you for strengthening us. Thank you for strengthening our spirit, man. And we just declare that our spirit is stronger than our flesh. And we know that self-control is a fruit of the spirit. So just declare that over yourself today. Lord, we declare that we have the fruits of the spirit in our life. We live them out. We do not just read it. We do not just recognize it in the word of God, but we actually live it out. And if we do recognize that we are weak in a certain area, Father, we trust in you to strengthen us. Our strength does not come from our own abilities, but it comes from the power and the move of God in our life. So just be ready for the Lord to bring reconciliation into your life concerning these situations. But also don't be surprised if you are tested to see, you know, how willing you are to stand on that self-control that you are declaring over yourself. And just continue to declare, Father, I will begin to honor you with my body. I will no longer defile my mind or my body with things that do not honor you. And then even the Apostle Paul, he talks about this, about he talks about sexual immorality in um, 1 Corinthians. He says, flee from sexual immorality. So when it comes to fleeing, this shows the importance of like us not, you know, allowing ourselves to flirt with this. We have to flee from it. Do not say like, oh, I could handle this. This is something that I could do for a short while. Like I could just watch porn for a little bit and I'll be fine. You know, still do what you know is right and ask God to strengthen you in your weak moments. So, Father, we declare that every spirit of addiction is broken today in the name of Jesus. We declare that we are set free. We are set free and we are delivered from every spirit of addiction. So flee from sexual immorality for, for all sins a person commits are outside the body. But when, whoever sins sexually sins against their own body. So he goes on to say, do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? Really remind yourself that your body belongs to God. Your body is not of your own. So you have to be willing to sacrifice how you are truly feeling in order for you to show God, like, it doesn't matter what life brings my way. I'm going to honor you. I'm going to respect you. 
So it says, our bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God. And you are not of your own. And you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your body. So just declare, Father, I am honoring you with my body. I am not going to defile my temple. I am not going to do things based on my emotions. And remember, like I was saying yesterday on the live, like having sexual desires is something that is normal. But when it comes to the spirit of lust, it goes so much deeper than that. You know, God is the one that created the sexual desires that we have. But when it comes to the spirit of lust really infiltrating your mind, it really can go so, so, so much deeper and causes you to do things that are unusual and abnormal. So I still encourage you guys to do not look at the things of the world and say that, you know, the things of the world are normal, especially if it's going against the word of God and going against what God is saying. Let us do what God, let us live by the standard of God rather than the standard of men. It is so important for us to remember that the world will always tell us that anything is okay. The world will tell us that it is okay to watch porn. It's okay to have these dildos and these toys and stuff like that. But these things can cause a level of perversion in your life. And there are even some people that are okay with, you know, child pornography and just all of these horrible, horrible things defiling their bodies and defiling their minds. But let's remember the standard that God is wanting us to live by. God is not wanting us to live by a certain standard just so that, you know, we could just be a certain way, you know? He doesn't want us to just struggle in that way. He knows that if he is telling us to live that way, that it is possible for us to live to that standard. And if you are finding it to live by the standard of God, just continue to seek God for your deliverance to be set free. Even if you have failed at it before, do not allow that to discourage you and stop you. And do not allow that to just pull you into it more because you're saying like, oh, there's no way out, I'll just continue. So just declare, I am being made new. I am being made whole in the name of Jesus. Just declare over yourself, I am the righteousness of Christ. It is truly because of Jesus Christ that we have been declared righteous. And there's no way that we can have, you know, this relationship with the Holy Spirit, this relationship with Jesus and not be transformed and not change. So, Father, we just declare that we break every demonic influence of lust today. We break every demonic influence of lust over our minds. We will not allow the spirit of lust to infiltrate us any longer. And we do not come into agreement with it. We declare that we will not be overtaken by the temptations that come. And we will illustrate in our lives what others deem as impossible because we know that the power of God is moving in our life. So Father, we thank you. We thank you for destroying every altar of lust that has been in our bloodline. Father, we declare that we will continue to honor you with our body. We declare that we have the victory over every situation because of Jesus Christ. We declare, Father, that we are not failures, but we are victorious. And we will not allow ourselves to be beaten down by shame and guilt. And when it comes to this, it also could be a process. So that's why I say, do not allow shame and guilt and condemnation to be your portion. Because when you mess up, God wants you to go to him and he wants you to continue to seek him for your full deliverance. Do not be so discouraged to the point where you just allow yourself to no longer go to God for help. So Father, we thank you that no matter what we are facing in our life, you are always there ready to pull us out. Father, you are the one that delivers us from every situation. So we cry out to you, Lord, in our weakest moments. We cry out to you, Father, with our broken and contrite spirit. 
And we know that you will set us free and you will deliver us. And that we do not have to live in the same cycles over and over and over. God truly wants us to be set free from these demonic cycles that are just meant to keep us bound. So Father, we understand that there is no temptation that can overtake us because God provides a way out of every temptation that we face in our life. That's why I also say really analyze what is going on in your mind. And remember that you still have control over your mind in situations where you feel like you can't take it or where you feel like you're being pulled down. You still have the ability to take a step back and really think about what you're about to do or think about what is going through your mind. And Father, we thank you that your spirit overtakes every demonic spirit of lust in our life, Lord. We declare that our spirit man is rejuvenated. Our spirit man is strong. Our flesh will not overtake our spirit, Father, because we walk by the spirit and not of the flesh, in Jesus' name. And we do not walk in agreement with things that are not of you, Lord. We do not walk into agreement with things that are not honorable to you, Lord. So we just thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you, Father, for uprooting every issue of lust in our life today. And just like Jesus said in Matthew, the Lord will uproot everything that is not of him that is in our life. He will not allow those things to remain. Just come into agreement with God. So, Father, we will continue to come into agreement with you. And we declare that we will not be held back. We will not be held down. We will not be overtaken by the Spirit. And Father, we will testify that we have been set free. We testify even now that we are set free from every issue. And we just thank you, Father, for giving us an amazing testimony. Thank you, Father, for delivering us. Even when we saw no way out, you delivered us. Even when we found ourselves in those cycles in the past, you delivered us. Today, we are delivered. So we will not allow the spirit of lust to infiltrate our thought patterns, Lord. We will make sure that our thoughts line up with you. We will make sure that we cast down every thought that is not of you and put it to the obedience of Christ Jesus because we belong to the body of Christ and we understand that the spirit of God is greater than any other spirit that would try to overcome you and overtake you. You know, Jesus said that the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So even Jesus understands that but he has given us power over that through his spirit in us, through the Holy Spirit that is in us, which is the spirit of God. So Father, we just declare that we bind and uproot every demonic spirit that would pull us in a different direction, that would pull us away from the plan that you have for us, Father, and we believe in you to restore us and renew us in our mind. We declare that we are made brand new today. We declare that those old patterns no longer are active in our life, but we are set free today. And even if those old patterns try to creep in, we recognize that we have the ability to overcome it because your spirit that moves in us. Because your spirit that moves in us continuously reminds us of what is holy and what is right. So we will continue to be transformed. We will not remain the same. Say, Lord, I welcome you into my heart. Lord, I welcome you into my mind. Lord, I welcome you into my spirit to restore me and make me brand new. So Father, I pray that you give new desires to your people today. Give new desires into the hearts of your people today, Father. And let the desires of their heart line up with your will for their life. We already know that we have overcome the enemy because of what Jesus Christ has done. So we are not in bondage. We are not going to allow the enemy 
to keep us in bondage in our minds. Whenever the enemy tries to trick you into making you believe that you are in bondage, remind him that you have been set free through Jesus Christ. And it really can be you just letting go and making that decision and saying, you know what, there are just certain things that I will not allow myself to do. There are just certain things that I will not come into agreement with. And this is where you just allow yourself to fully surrender to God and allow God to move. Because sometimes what we do in our heart is we still hold on to the things that we know are not right because we get enjoyment out of them because of its sinful nature. But Father, we just declare that that is not our portion. We fully let go, not just declaring it with our, might, our, our mouth, but in our hearts, we fully let go of the things that do not glorify God. We let go of the things that are keeping us bound and stuck. So, Father, we just give thanks to you for your power that is moving in us. We thank you so much for transforming our minds, for setting us free and delivering us. And we know, we, we just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. And as God's Spirit moves, you will see his transformative power in your life. You will see that the things that you once found hard are no longer hard you are able to just overcome them. Just also recognize that the things that you are asking God for in this moment right now, it is already done because everything is finished. Just like Jesus said, it is finished. Everything has already been overcome. So Father, we believe that you have destroyed every spirit of lust in our life. And we declare by fire and by force, it will not infiltrate us anymore. Father, we thank you for helping us to overcome every trial. Whenever temptation comes knocking at our door, we know that we have the ability to reject it. We do not have to answer that door. Because the spirit of lust will always come back around. Remember the scripture that says that, you know, the spirit, it leaves and it comes back. It comes back to see if it can gain re-entry. It comes back to see if you actually maintain that deliverance that you prayed for. But Father, we declare that that spirit will not be able to gain re-entry in our life because we maintain the deliverance that you have given us. We will not just pray for deliverance only for us to cry out for deliverance again for the same situation because we have the wisdom of God in us. So we thank you, Father God, that your spirit breaks every influence of lust in our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. And it truly can be difficult, especially in today's society with how lust is literally glorified. Lust in our society is embraced. People want you to embrace the lust on every level. But Father, we declare that we are not like the world. We are set apart. We will not think like the world does. And we just thank you, Father, for your spirit that is in us, that transforms us, that transforms our minds and our hearts. We thank you so much, Father, for helping us to honor you with our bodies because we recognize that we worship you with our bodies when we honor you with our bodies. And just remember that God's spirit is always with you. Even if you are struggling with something, remember that God is, he is with you in those situations. But also remember how great God is, how he has actually already allowed you to overcome these things. That's why it's so important for you to have the word of God in your spirit and truly recognize what God has done. Because when once you are set free in your mind, that is truly how you are, be, are going to be able to fully walk in that power and dominion and authority because you recognize who you are. That's why today we're praying to uproot every spirit of lust so that we can get to the bottom of it, so that we could get to the root of the problem. So I pray that the Lord reveals to you what that root is. And the things that I mentioned in the beginning were just some things that he mentioned to me. 
reasons why some people struggle with lust on many levels. He said loneliness, abuse, abandonment, insecurity, rejection. So really ask the Lord, what are the things that are causing me to fall into lustful temptations in my life? And he will definitely reveal it to you and then also ask him to replace those negative things, to replace those things with, you know, the things from the kingdom of heaven, the things that will actually help you to advance in your life and not pull you down. So Father, we just come into agreement with the goodness that you have planned for us. We will not allow darkness to pull us down. We declare that everything that is not of you, Lord, is being destroyed and uprooted even right now. Father, we just thank you so much for helping us to recognize the power and dominion that you have given us. And that moves in us because of the Spirit of God. So, Father, we declare that we will not be overtaken by sexual sins. We will not sin against our bodies. We will not defile our temple. Father, we will continue to honor you with our bodies. And we recognize that we have been bought for a price when Jesus Christ died on the cross for us. And we're gonna remind ourselves too that we are going to live by the standard of God and not the standard of man because the standard of man will tell us that things are okay when God is telling us that it's not. And even when we don't see how we will do that on our own, we know that we will be led by the Spirit of God to accomplish these things. God did not create us to just fail. You know, God did not create us to fall under the subjection of the enemy. So just declare right now that I am being made new. I am being made new. I am being restored in my mind and in my heart. So Father, we just thank you for helping us to really line up with things that are honorable to you. And Father, we declare that we will not be led by our emotions. Our emotions do not lead us. Because if we do allow ourselves to be led by our emotions, we are basically being foolish because our emotions can bring us down. Our emotions can bring us to sin and death. But we are rather led by the Spirit. Imagine if Jesus allowed himself to be led by his emotions. He would not have done what he did for us. So Father, we thank you that we have been washed clean. Father God, we thank you that we have been cleansed, we have been restored, we have been made brand new. And we just thank you, Father, for giving us the ability to repent in our heart. We thank you for the grace that you have put upon our life. And we know now that we can stand firm because we know that we will not be overtaken by lust. Lust will no longer overtake us. Father, we come into agreement with the plans that you have for our life. And addiction is not what God has for us. So we declare that we have been set free from every form of addiction in our life. Because, you know, you could even have this strong lust for, you know, smoking. Like I mentioned, I mentioned before, like how I had this addiction to marijuana. And it was like, I could not do anything without smoking weed. I could not eat without smoking. I could not sleep without smoking. Like I could not go out and do things with friends or family without smoking. So your lust could even be for smoking. But Father, we just pray against that and we declare that we are made new. We declare that these lustful desires will not overtake us. And when you're smoking, you're really defiling your temple. You're doing what God did, did not intend for you to do with your body. And that it's when you're, when you're smoking, you're not honoring God with your body. So Father, we declare that we do not come into agreement with that. And I just pray for anybody that is on this live right now that is struggling with smoking. Father, I pray that you put it so heavily in their spirit to 
no longer have a desire to smoke so that they can be set free. Because even now when I smell marijuana, it's like I'm disgusted by it. And before I used to love it so much. So God can truly set you free. And, you know, just be willing to receive that freedom and deliverance. Because I remember all it took at that time, even though I was heavily, heavily addicted, all it took at that time was me hearing from the Lord saying, like, you shouldn't be smoking. Throw away that bong that you have. And once I threw it away, that was it. I didn't look back. And I said, Lord, this is my act of faith. I'm showing you that I believe that I am delivered. I am set free. And even though I failed many times before that, I knew in that moment that this was different. So I pray that God does the same thing for you. Because it's horrible when you're controlled by something, when you can't do, because you know, we, we only need the spirit of God. So when we have these things that are controlling us, we're basically idolizing these things in our life and we're allowing it to be an idol. But Father, we just declare that we no longer make these things an idol in our life. We are no longer held bound by these things. We are no longer subjected to these things, Father. We are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare that we have the ability to maintain self-control because of your spirit that is in us. So Father, we just thank you right now for your spirit of self-control that is in us. We declare that we are able to demonstrate that in our everyday life. And we thank you, Father, for creating these standards that you know that we can live by, even if we don't believe in it ourselves. We know that we can do it. Even when we don't believe in ourselves, God believes in us. So, Father, we thank you so much for believing in us in our weakest moments and for setting us free today. So this is pretty much it for today. I'll see what the Lord has us pray for tomorrow. I don't know if he's going to have us pray against the spirit of lust again. But this is, you know, this is not something that is uncommon. And I'm so grateful that the Lord had me pray concerning this because a lot of believers, they feel alone in this when it comes to the spirit of lust. They feel so alone. But it's something that a lot of believers are dealing with in this time. But I truly believe that, you know, we can walk in power and dominion and know that we are set free and we don't have to live in this place anymore. We don't have to allow ourselves to be in shame and condemnation. Repent and turn away and believe that God is delivering you as you do that. And as the Lord had me mention, there are some people that are saying they want to be delivered from the spirit of, you know, masturbation and um, what what was it pornography, but they're still holding on to their dildos and things like that If you are wanting God to really set you free and deliver you Throw those things away as an act of faith. Do not keep them around And just show God like I I will begin to honor you with my body I am no longer going to do these things that are pulling me into a place of shame and condemnation so, Father, I just thank you so much for setting your people free. I thank you for washing your people clean and renewing them in their minds and in their hearts. Father, I thank you so much for giving them new desires in their hearts, for helping their desires to line up with the will that you have for their life. Father, I truly pray that you empower them and continue to edify them in their spirit. And even if they do fall, remind them that, a righteous man may fall seven times, but they get up again and they just keep on going. So I just pray that the spirit of God descends upon you heavily and that you are reminded that you have already overcome because of the spirit of God that is moving in you. In Jesus mighty name, I pray. Amen. So I truly pray that this is a blessing. I'm pretty sure that you guys could hear in my voice how tired I am, but I know a lot of you guys on here are tired as well but we still were up today and we prayed and I'm just so excited to see what else the Lord does. I know that some of you guys will come back with testimonies, powerful testimonies and let those testimonies be known so that they can be sealed in the spirit. 
Um, I have Bible study every Monday. I always tell you guys at the end of these lives, I have Bible study every Monday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you guys want to join that, send me an email and I will um, send you the invite for the WhatsApp group because I normally send the Zoom link once I'm live in the WhatsApp group. Oh no, the I do these lives every Monday through Friday. So I do these lives every Monday through Friday at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, you know, this is something that I know the Lord is doing great things with because I've gotten such encouraging emails already. Um, and if you guys do miss these lives, they are on my YouTube channel for you to watch them back as well. Um, and then also my spiritual warfare book. I try to talk about this as much as I can because I don't really do videos on TikTok like that anymore. But I have a spiritual warfare book called The Battlefield of the Spirit. And I actually go deeper when it comes to the spirit of lust as well. I talk about like how, you know, you could be infiltrated by spirit spouses and how, you know, you're, you could have these intense sexual desires, not just because of your own your own desires but because of demonic spirits that are influencing you so if you guys want to you know get these spiritual warfare books they are available on amazon and you know i will be updating my website too i will be adding more prayers to my website because i believe that the lord is wanting me to do that i'm still so amazed at how so many people thousands of people go on to my website every month and i i haven't updated it in so long but i know that the Lord is wanting me to add more on there, so I'm going to do that. And also, if you are part of my Bible study group, we are on Proverbs 23. So once we finish with Proverbs, I'm going to have everyone read um, two chapters of Psalms every day. So we will be done with um, Proverbs by the 13th. And once we're done with that, we're going to start on Psalms. And Psalms has 150 chapters. So I just really want you guys to be encouraged and really be focused on reading the word of God because your wisdom and your knowledge comes from the, the word of God. And when you're reading the word of God, the spirit of God just moves so heavily in your mind. It transforms you and it helps you, it renews you, and it strengthens you. So if you don't have the, the knowledge of God in you, it's going to be so difficult for you to overcome a lot of challenges that you're facing in your life. So... Yeah, the website is called cedarinlebanon.org, and I am going to update it because I know that for some people that use it on a desktop, it could be a little difficult for them to actually see the entire prayer. But if you use it on a mobile device, it's easy for you to read it completely. So I'll be updating my website pretty soon. But that's pretty much, you know, it for today. I truly pray that, you know, the Spirit of God descends upon you and delivers you and sets you free from every spirit of lust. Remember that we need to flee from sexual immorality and even what I was talking about, having addiction to marijuana and things like that, that goes hand in hand with the spirit of lust. So just continue to believe in God and seek God for your deliverance to be set free in Jesus' name. But I love you guys so much and I pray that you guys have a successful day.